of the box or on the label, it says it's got the YKK Zippo. Alright, so as you can see, we're back with the actual boot itself now. Um, looks very much or very similar, in my opinion, the uh, outer design of the boot, as you can see all around with the breathable material part that they refer to. So there's the air ventilation, so to speak, for your foot and the uh, normal uh, r uh, leather rubber at the bottom to obviously protect uh, from the oil and uh, waterproofing for the, those rainy days. If you can see at the back here, I see what they've done uh, slightly different to the Strike Force model. For those of you who know the Strike Force boot, the Strike Force had some sort of um, exo gel that was uh, incorporated on the, on the end here to protect your foot from any impact. What I see here, what they've done, they've given it more of a tacky like uh, ventilated part here on the back of the foot um, with the carbon fiber look. I like that, I must say that was um, also on the Strike Force 8.0, so that was quite a nice neat touch as you can see looks quite nice but instead what i see that they've done here they've put, they've reinforced the ankle parts at the bottom here i, I like this i won't lie um it feels like it's just been uh, padded up a bit with a little bit more plastic uh, leather or possibly foam inside i don't know um, also what's different compared to the viper pros as well as the strike force you'll see that they had also some sort of uh, leather like uh, waterproof shielding inside the boot um, what i see here they haven't connected it to the other half of the boot meaning that you can actually open the boot in, in its entirety um, and put your foot in quite easily inside here when getting or uh, when putting your boots on obviously and just being able to zip up and off when needed so that was quite a nice uh, small change that I noticed um, whether it uh, tickle whether it's a concern or worry for you or not is another thing obviously that's uh, just personal preference uh, in my opinion but um, yeah as you can see there so with the YK zipper when you close see what they've done differently here as i was saying is before they had the ykk zipper here and the little, little magnum strip just covering like that so what i see they've given a bit of leeway so if you did have to zip it up you can actually cover the zip itself like that as you can see there so now it's actually covered nicely up there so the zip itself uh, doesn't flap around when you're working or making noise or whatever the case may be um, and of course it's got the name printed there magnum um, but all in, all in all, this is the boot, like I said, brand new, only been wearing it for three or four days, so it is a little bit worn in, but not worn in enough. Um, it definitely feels lighter than the Strike Force 8.0 as well as the Viper 8.0. However, I do want to compliment the Magnum again, like with the Strike Force 8.0. Um, they've got nice, decent padding here in the front, um, as well as inside the boot and down at the bottom here it's actually very very comfy and um, yeah as I say it's lighter than the other two models in my opinion or at least it feels so for my feet and yeah awesome pair of boots to wear so thanks again to Magnum uh, we'll get back to you in about a uh, 12 months uh, time or so see how good these boots, uh, boots lasted if you like this review it's a pure review pure raw didn't get paid to do this so if you like it please give me a thumbs up and uh, continue to do more